Hey peeps, Julian here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. We are now doing question 8 from the DEBE Maths Paper 2 2019 and this is a Euclidean geometry question. And question 8.1, given us a diagram uh, and they said that O is the center of the circle and LOM is the diameter. So we're clearly going to have to do some circle geometry over here. Uh, they've given us some other information that they've already written on the diagram. And importantly, they've also said that angle MTS is 31. Then they want us to determine with the reasons what angle MOS is. So MOS is this angle over here. And we can see that we're going to use the theorem angles at the center is twice is equal to twice the angles at the circumference because this angle 31 the MTS is uh, 31 and it's at the circumference so 8.1.1 number A is that MOS equals 2 times 31 which equals 60 two degrees and your reason being here is that angles at the center equals two times the angle at the circumference cool and then number B is Calculate what angle L is. This angle over here, angle L, and we can see that it has this chord which is equal to this chord. So we can use the theorem that equals chords make equal angles. So th this angle T is going to be equal to L. So we can then write that formally that. Angle L equals 31, and your reason there is equal chords uh, equal angles theorem. Okay, moving on to the next question. They're asking us now to prove that ON, which is this line over here, is equal to half of MS which they seem unrelated but <laughs> can get so how we're we going to prove that is by first stating that they've given us that LN so this this line over here and NP are equal so LN is equal to NP and that's uh, given also that OM equals LO, and that's because of radii. So I'll demonstrate that now. So it's saying that this line here equals this line because they've told us, they told us that LOM is the diameter. So that means that these two are equal because um, O is the center of the circle. So if these two sides are equal and those two sides are equal it means that using triangle geometry that this line ON is going to be half the size of PM which is this line over here PM it's going to be half of that because of the midpoint theorem so we can conclude that as I said ON, or what's the highlighter? ON will equal half of PM, and it's because of the midpoint theorem. This is uh, some triangle geometry. And what was given is that MS equals. PM because that's that's also given so therefore we can substitute 
that PM equals NM, so we can get that ON equals a half of MS, which is what they asked us to prove. And moving on to 8.2, given us another diagram, and they've stated that K is the point on a line AB, so over here, such that, so if AK is 3Y, uh, KB will be 2Y. They've also told us that KN and MB are parallel, and the fact that AM, so from A to M, if there was 10 parts, MC would be 23. And then they asked us, to determine with reasons the ratios of AN over AM. So we can state that AN over AM will equal the ratio of AK over AB. And the reason why we can say this is because lines parallel are to one side of triangle sorry, of triangle because this kn is parallel to bm so we can see that the ratios between the th so 3y and 2y will be the same so then, therefore, we know then that AN, so if AN will, will be the 3Y, so AN over AM will equal 3Y over, so AM is going to be the equivalent of AB, which will then be 5y if we're talking about ratios, so 5y. And of course the y's cancel out, so we're just left with 3 over 5. And that's the answer for 8.2.1. And then moving on to the next one, they now want us to find the ratio of CL over LK. So remember they've told us that AM, so if we let this equal 10x, the MC part is going to be 23x. And also we don't forget that if AN will be a ratio of 3y to 2y uh, that we've proven in the, in the last question. So as I said, we can write this down as saying that AM the MC should equal 10x over 23x, uh, and that's given. So we can also say that AM will equal 5y, which also equals 10x. So remember, if from AM will be the 3 plus the 2y, so it will be 5y, but it, we, they've also stated that AM is 10x that we've let it be. So from this we can deduce that. So we divide both sides by 5. We can say that y will equal 2x. And then moving on we can also say that LC over LK. So KL. LC over KL will equal MC over nm and again the reason here is that lines parallel to uh, one side of triangle so again this is this these two parallel lines so you can see that kl and lc will be proportional to MN over MC, so that's why we can say this statement over here. So then we can write that, so we know that uh, from we can from the diagram we can see that MC over MN 
will equal 23x over 2y. So here you can see that's 23x for the, the MC part. And then this small section here is 2y. And so we know that, so then therefore, because we said that this statement is true, that LC over KL, which is the, the ratio we're looking for, will equal or also equal 23x over 2y. And then we can substitute in that y equals 2x from that statement. So therefore, it's 23x over 2 times 2x. Uh, so that's going to equal 23x over 4x. The x's cancel. So then, therefore, write this nicely. LC over KL will equal 23 over 4. And that's your answer. And that concludes question 8. Before I go, I'd like to give a special thank you to our Epic sponsors for making this video possible. Read more about them in the description below. Be sure to visit our website for more tutorials just like this. If you can't find the answer to the questions that you have, please send us your question and we will respond with a personalized video just for you. And until then, stay epic. <laughs>